Hello, Jesse of Yourworks here, back from another review. And today I'm reviewing set number 76010. It's part of the DC Comics Superheroes Batman line. And it has 136 pieces and it's called Batman the Penguin Face Off. Now, this is recommended for just 5 to 12, it has too many figures, and it retails for $13 in the US. This just came out in the United States in March, or, you know, late February. Actually, it's early February, so, but. You'll start seeing it late February, early March. For now, it's only available at LEGO stores across the United States. Now let's take a look at the packaging. Okay, so here is a box for this set, and for some reason, I really do love this box, but it reminds me of, um, of Launch Base Zone from Sonic 3. I don't know why. In the beginning of Launch Base Zone, you go out from the snow, and then it leads to the city back there. And also in Launch Base Zone, they have some water parts for Knuckles. I don't know why, but I love Sonic 3, so I don't really mind that. And it, make, it just makes the box look even cooler to me. Uh, but they have the little DC Comics logo on the bottom there, which is the really only annoying part. They already have it, like, they. well, I know they don't have it there, but they should have just left it up there like they used to do. I don't know why they have that. But still, on the back, it shows all the little play features. And I guess this green design has grown on me a little bit. There's an instruction booklet, but there's no comic. And they show an advertisement for the Batman sets for this year. And then they show an advertisement for the Lego movie sets. Okay, so here is Scuba Batman. And I didn't show it here because he can't really go onto the plate with these on. But you do get two of these black little flippers. Which are really cool because we've never gotten these flippers in black. And for some reason, I don't know why, usually the flippers are like this weird material, but these feel like they're really kind of just a regular plastic that we see in Lego pieces. I don't know, which is a good thing because the old flippers, I always used to bend them and stuff like that. Maybe it's just the black look that makes me think this, but I'm not entirely sure why, but they're definitely much better for some reason. I don't know why, it's, it's weird than the old flippers we used to get. And that's just based off of their feel alone. So I don't know if that's like confirmed or anything like that. And if anybody can confirm it, please tell me because I have not seen it anywhere. And I tried looking for something on it. But when we get past that, you can see that the minifigure is Scuba Batman. And this is actually exclusive to the set, which is awesome. And he is a really cool minifigure. You do get that dark blue cowl that you see a lot in the 2012 superhero sets. And you can see that's his front face right there and his back face, which is really cool. It's a scuba, kind of like a scuba gear face. So you can put it over like that, and he kind of has that mask going on. But this could be used for non-Batman sets and stuff like that, which is really cool too. All this is printed over just a regular black minifigure head, like, you know, the color black. And that's why this like part right here kind of looks a little bit pale for his main face. But it is nice that they went out of their way to put his regular face on this black little minifigure head because it, you know, you could kind of put it like that. So it is cool that he does have a double-sided face. That's what I'm trying to say. And they do that a lot with uh, some of the Star Wars clones and Stormtroopers, I believe, where they kind of put like a regular face over a black minifigure stud or minifigure head. And you can see he comes with this little piece right here, which is his scuba gear, like his um, breathing gear. And then you can see his torso printing is excellent too. This is actually really cool. I love this. It's really detailed. He has like these little, I guess they're muscle bones on his uh, torso. And he has his little logo over a like kind of like, I guess, uh, I don't even know what type of blue, maybe teal, a uh, little like circle or oval right there. And then a utility belt. And that's some very, very nice back printing. So I love the torso printing of the year. I think it's really, really detailed. Uh, the only thing is he does not have any leg printing, which is a little bit disappointing, but I don't mind that too much. And here is the penguin. The penguin has this little switch accessory which uses this antenna right here and just a regular stud. And you could just take that off. Just a little added detail, it's not anything special. And once you get past that, he comes with his little umbrella which is like a signature umbrella. Which is pretty cool too, but it doesn't have like any special pieces. Which it, 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 it doesn't need any special pieces, but it's just a cool little build that they put with the minifigure. Now once you get to the minifigure, he's a very well made minifigure. He's different than the Arkham Asylum version that we got last year, uh, because this one has this kind of fur coat, which looks really cool. And that's printed on the torso and the back of the torso, which looks great. I love how they had a variation there. Also, he has these dark, uh, or these small legs in kind of this dark gray, I believe, color. You guys know I'm not good with color. But in that color, it's actually quite rare to get these pieces. This is the cheapest way you could get them because they came in a lot of Hobbit sets, like I think Unexpected Gathering, Goblin King, 
and they came in like the Ewok village. So this is the cheapest way by a long shot to get them. And you can see his face right there is the same as the Arkham Asylum printing, which is pretty cool because I missed out on that set. So it's nice to get the penguin like that. And his top hat is really cool, but it's just a regular top hat we've been seeing for a long time. So overall, they really nailed this minifigure. Obviously no back head printing because he can't have a double sided face with the top hat. So I really love this minifigure too. So both minifigures in this set are excellent. Okay, so here's what you get with this set. You do get a lot of stuff for this $13 price point. You get this little bat scuba jet, I guess you could say. Uh, this little penguin duck vehicle. Then you get this little part for this Arctic crystal right here. And then you get these two little um, mechanized penguins. So first up, we'll take a look at the duck vehicle, which is probably the best little build of this set. And wow, this is actually really, really adorable. They use this little small um, eyepiece, which is from what I call the tile studs, even though they're not really studs, but they're tiled. And that's you seen in like a few sets, like the toucan set, you know, the furry creature, or not furry creatures, um, forest animal set, and a lot of the mixel sets. So you see they use two of those right there, which is always great to get. And then some of the pieces in here are actually really rare too. In particular, in this color right here, um, this little part, it's called a bow plate, and it only comes in the set, and you do get two of them in the set, which is great. Uh, you do have these little flick and fire missiles right here, which, you know, they don't really go far. And I don't really like flick and fire missiles, so maybe I'll mod that part out because it just looks a little bit weird. And if you take it off, it'll look something like that. So that's cool. On the back, you get this little jet right here. And inside, there's only room for one minifigure, of course, uh, which is penguin and you could just stick him in there quite well there's a little bit of space and then there's this little um, steering wheel so there you go he goes in like that so that is really cool it's a really cute little build um it would have been cool if they maybe added like a double cheese slope right here to, for the beak but i'm not entirely sure that would work but yeah looks really cool i really love how they made this little build uh there's a top and here's the bottom so that is all great then on to Batman's vehicle, which is this little bat scuba jet, I guess you could say. It's a pretty, it's, I mean, it's not like the best build, but it's, it's one of the better Batman vehicles. I actually think it's okay. It's, uh, I like how they have this little piece right here printed, which only comes in this set with this printed symbol, which is awesome that they did that. And that is just really cool. I mean, like, I know in the Electro set, the Spider-Man Electro set, it was so lame how they had that one sticker on the front. They could have just printed it kind of like how they did this. So I love printed pieces that come in small sets and you know they're exclusive to that set. This piece right here in this black color is also quite rare actually. Uh, it it's, it's only comes in a stealth shell and in this set. So that's pretty cool. Another really rare piece or exclusive piece of the set. Then you have these little flaps on the side right here which you can move up and down. And this back part where they use one of those wheel pieces as I guess like a jet part on the back where I keep on, I never know what these are called. They're like, they're not thrusters but I don't even know. I guess you could say an engine. And you can see they use this flap back here in that gray color, which looks a little bit off. I don't know if they should have used that gray color. Maybe this color would have been a little bit better. And there's not really room to sit a minifigure, but you just kind of have to put a uh, Batman like this, where he's holding on to this little, uh, this little handle right here. And since it's underwater, he could kind of go like that. And I guess you could do that over water too. So it works a little like that. And there is the bottom. There's two flick and fire missiles right here. And you know, those go quite far, I guess. I can never flick them that far. So yeah, it's a really cute little build. I like how they made this. Uh, it's, like I said, it's one of the better Batman vehicle builds from the superheroes line. Cause I don't know, a lot of these Batman builds from the superheroes lines are really kind of lacking. But I like this one. It's quite, it's pretty cool. And onto this part right here, it's just a little plate or yeah, it's a plate and then there's some tiles. And then there's a crystal right there. It's nothing really special. And even it looks, I don't know, it doesn't look the greatest because it would have been cool if they maybe added a little bit more of these uh, these little triangular slopes right here uh, to make it look a little bit more rigid and not so flat. But I mean, it's just really kind of a throw into the set and it just boosts the piece count up. And I can't really complain because it has 136 pieces or so for $13, which is excellent. So yeah, it's just a little part where you can kind of put the penguins, which this is a really cool build too. You get two of these identically built penguins right here. And yeah, they look very adorable. They remind me of the penguins from uh, from that that 2008 penguin set with Robin. It was like called Robin in the scuba jet or something like that. I don't remember. But the little penguins right here, 
they have a little stick of dynamite and they have this piece right here in this orange color which is actually quite rare too because uh, I believe they only come in this set um, and the light repair set from this year. So that's actually really cool. And there's a 360 view on that. They have this little wing right here which is a cool little detail where you can move it up and down. They use that little plate piece with the triangular part. And yeah, you get two of them in the set which really kind of uh, boosts the piece count up and they're a cute little build. So you kind of just have to place them there. You can move them around anywhere you want. So overall, I really love the builds in this set. I think this is just an excellent set. And now let's go on to the final verdict. Overall, this set is actually really awesome. The minifigures are really cool. I like how they're both exclusive to this set because they have exclusive printing that's varied from their different versions that we've been getting recently. And the builds are actually really cool. I do love Penguin's vehicle, but uh, Batman's vehicle, it's okay. It's not like the best vehicle. And this little part right here is pretty cool as an add-in, even though it's a, a little bit too small. And the two penguins are cool too. But I can't really like get mad at it for being too small because you're already getting 136 pieces with this build alone for this $13 set, which is excellent. And the pieces in here are really awesome that you get all those rare pieces. Like the little uh, black flippers right here. Like this black piece. Like this piece in yellow. And I mean, it's just really, really cool. I love the pieces in here. I love the build. Love the minifigures. So it's definitely an A for me. It's, it can't be an A+, plus because there are a little flaws, like I said, with the build in particular. The Batman build isn't really the greatest, but I understand they're going for a $13 build. And that's really it for this review, and I will see you guys later. Bye.